everybody. It's Sophie and Marco. Sorry, I have a little uh, crick in my throat. We are doing a review of episode four of American Horror Stories and American Horror Story. American Horror Story. I guess it is just one story in this season. And it is called Blood Buffet. Well, uh, I, well, uh, it, this was a backstory of how this was an origin episode. Well, what is the difference between back and origin? Okay, uh, so I call it okay, I'll say back slash slash origin. This is a backstory origin episode. <laughs> oh, god, it's called Backstory Buffet. Except you don't really get all the backstories, do you? No, you don't. No. Absolutely not. Basically, they're telling the origin of the pill. That's one thing. And how everybody happened to get it in the beginning. So you're talking about the vampire woman who's a writer, writes books. What's her name, Safi? I don't know. And, really? uh, yeah. Why don't and you then, know? I don't know. And oh. then you have. The her buddy, the guy what's, who what's his name? would play Taint in the first episode of the what, first, of the first uh, season what, of this series. What's his name though? I don't know what their names are. Oh. I don't really hear their names. Mm. So anyway, um Sorry everybody. How they got their uh their bloodlust and their extra talent and then we get to see Macaulay Culkin, which was nice because and what was he's his very name? pleasant. What was his character's name? I don't know what his character's name is. Oh, if Marco wants to provide the character's names, he's welcome to it. Macaulay Culkin has not changed much in his appearance and his face. So he's so recognizable. I don't even know if I can Sophie. even remember his character name if I tried. Safi, you need to take the pill so you can get, become a better reviewer, be more professional, no thanks. or else you're going to get mean comments by people who are upset. I don't upset. care. Stay upset over what? Don't be upset over nothing, okay? I'll, I'll, next uh, time, I, I will personally provide offended. their names. I am personally offended. <laughs> will you provide their names? Who's Macaulay Culkin? Mickey. Mickey! Just, yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Who's the vampire woman? Bell. I don't like her hair. Bell. Ugh. Bell. Bell. Oh, like Bell of Beauty and the Beast. Okay, and and her buddy. Austin. Austin. I think. I think. Oh, see, Marco thinks he's so perfect, but he's just saying I think. Well, what, we could, we could settle that right now. I could look it up right now, but this well, was we a, better continue. Go ahead, Marco. This was a backst. You know. I, I don't really like origin episodes. You know, you know, there really hasn't been a lot of good ones in the past. Because you go ahead and search it, because I want to talk. Um, origin episodes are really tough because they can seem really cutesy and and sort of like they're wrapped up in a bow. So you'll have like all these cutesy little moments where you see like, oh look, isn't that cute? That's how that character got their nickname. Oh, isn't that cute? That's how that character got their outfit. Oh, isn't that cute? And so they do that the whole episodes when they do these origin episodes. And in my opinion, I can't really even think of a good origin episode. Like, ever. But I think that the reason this episode was made was because it was light. It was very light and, and fluffy. And I think it was sort of meant to be a break in between the dark episodes. Safi, did you find it yet? Well, it says Kathy Bates is in this. You oh, Safi, right. what are you doing? Oh, God. I said see, this is Safi, Safi, stop being a boomer. Safi. Okay, we're going to the latest. Oh. Safi, <laughs> this is pathetic. 
So anyways, this episode, I wasn't expecting it to be good, but I, I still, I let myself be open to it being good because I want to watch a good show. I want to watch a good episode and, you know, I was really looking forward to seeing the backstories of these people. I was really looking forward to seeing uh, Austin. And to be honest, I was a little disappointed in how little we got to see of him. I really wanted to see more of after this episode. Like, the, there was a point in this episode where it basically just ended. And it, it, it really felt like... They, they dragged on a lot before that and they should have cut some of that stuff out and had what happened after the episode uh, because I really wanted to see more of him he, he's such an entertaining actor and you know even when he dressed in drag he did a really good job and you know he was just really good and Belle we got to see uh, her origin, which I, I didn't. I wasn't really a, much of a fan of it because it's sort of like been there, done that. I mean, a lot of the times we see this where you have a character, they were weak and feeble, and then they are changed, they turn evil, and then they're uh, fucking confident after that. You know, we see that all the time. And so it really wasn't surprising to see that that that's what happened with her character. Safi, just look at IMDb for for fuck's sake. Come on, Safi. <laughs> I mean, Safi is acting like this is like a a hard mission or something. This is easy. This is a cakewalk. Uh, but this this episode, I think the biggest problem I have with it is the chemist. Because uh, this episode is basically, you have a list of characters, and you get to see their relationships, their backstory, how they all play together. The chemist is the first one introduced, and she is trash, right, Safi? She's, uh, she's so unethical, she's like a mad scientist, and she's selfish. But she really doesn't have a character, though. I mean, she she comes to this new house in this place... Provincetown, kind of outside of it, and she's like, I'm a scientist from military government place, and I was trying to do something with creativity experiments, and it's like, eh, that's not really letting me into her character, and I saw on IMDb that she's going to be in the second half of the season, in the second story, and I think the second story takes place in the 60s. So I, I also think that we're going to get to see her as a kid. And in the second half, we're going to get to learn more about why she has all these motivations. You know, we're going to get to learn more about her in the second half. But for now, she was just really trash. She comes to this new house and she's doing these stupid experiments and it's just, it's really not necessary. I mean, this whole episode, it was good. It was entertaining. You know, I didn't really, I, I didn't really hate anything in it, as, as you guys would think by, like, how I'm talking. But it just, the whole episode sort of felt like, eh, did we really need that? Like, did we really need to know... I mean, the only thing, I guess, that, that was good, that, that I really appreciated was seeing... Uh, Mickey Macaulay Culkin I really like seeing more of him and the fact that he could have taken the pill the whole time but he chose not to because he didn't believe in himself having the talent right. and so I actually that was interesting well I actually think that everyone could take this pill and but the key is is that they have to believe that they have the talent Mm -hmm. Because if you look at it, who told them about this pill? The chemist. She told them all about it. She told them the keys, the secrets, everything about it. She's the one who provided all this information. They didn't discover it by themselves and say, okay, I know that uh, this pill isn't working because I'm not... You know, they were told that they weren't talented. So I think that the key is the belief and I think that the the main characters, uh, Harry, uh, 
Alma and the the wife, I think that, well, I guess Harry and Alma only right now, I think that they're going to get cured by believing in themselves. And I, I think that that, you know, I like all this messaging this season. I like all of this, this sort of like understory about creativity and about, you know, everyone and their potential. Oh, I was right, Safi. Isn't that nice? I can't I'm, believe he's. I, yeah, I cannot believe that he is that kid in uh, it's, it's season hilar- one. It's hilarious, Safi. It took you like ten minutes to find that, and you could have just gone on to IMDb, season ten, one episode, and it would be right there. Anyways, Safi, t- tell us what you think about this episode, because okay. we're, we're all dying to know. Ha yeah, ha ha! I, get it? Fun. I'm, I liked this episode. I didn't give it a full, um, reason why Marco doesn't, didn't like it. He just went through the whole thing, but his basic premise. I said it was fine, Sophie. Yeah, I didn't pre- say I didn't like it. Well, he didn't think it was necessary because he doesn't like, he, because it's, because there's such a short season. This is the key to it. This is the key to whether this should be necessary or not. It says, it's, I mean, this is like a micro season. It's very short. How many episodes are left? Two? What? Well, yeah, yeah for this story, it's this just story. two more episodes left. So, you know, if this was a 23 episode It doesn't need to be thing, that long. Or whatever. I mean, the very, if you look at the first season, I don't know how many episodes, but they had twice as many, at least. They had 12 yeah. Well, that would probably be twice as many, right? Yeah. So anyway, they could <laughs> they could do what they did with their backstories. We talked about this. They they chunked it up and and spread it out. Yeah, and they, mixed they have it in. these little segments, like maybe at the beginning, maybe in the middle somewhere. You know, they wouldn't. Ju- they didn't just have like a full episode of like, okay, here's the backstories of the people at the murder house. No. They, they cut them up into little chunks. Well, they edit it very nicely. Where yeah. they fit in. Oh, they fit in well. well let's, let's not talk about the editing but, anymore. So, the thing is... The thing is... Um, they could have I done I appreciate it anyway, even though I agree with them that... Yeah. This is... Uh, we don't have much left. And I I guess my the back of my mind, being a mother and have even having a grandchild that uh, I'm worrying about the daughter. She's just a kid. She's nine or something. And she really, I don't think she's really 18 or something. She really what? is a kid. What the hell? And I'm worried about what's going to happen to her. <laughs> Whoever I, said I, she was 18? Well, sometimes they have these older people playing younger kids. I see it all the time. But anyway, um, I'm worried about her and what the outcome's going to be. But uh, but back to this episode, the only thing I really did not like is the puking. I mean, I just can't stand. But they, the you know, puking. they they had oh, yeah. to do it. There were like three instances of yeah. puking, and I, ugh, God, it just you, makes it also almost makes me want to throw up. You that. even said in the first season that the show has an obsession with with uh, oral fluids. Yeah, well, Remember that's that? uh, <laughs> and, ew. Okay, ew. I didn't even want to think about it. Anymore. Oral fluids. Okay, Marco. Oral okay, fluids. Okay, I am. Um... What if they had a whole season and they just called it American Horror Story Oral, oral Fluids? fluids. <laughs> oh, so anyway, and then I had some questions, and I could tell you what I liked. Okay, well, I told you what I didn't like. That was really basically the I don't like because it was ew. The oral fluids. Yeah. That was the ew. The thing I I loved um, when the uh, the guy who is uh, oh no at Sophie. the beginning who you, you you see there's two types of people there's people who are successful at this and then there's the other people who go around and they're bald headed and they just attack people they're just mindless. This medicine affects them in a more negative way because they don't either they don't believe in themselves slash or they are really not talented. Okay, so probably my bet is on they're really not talented. At least the one that they showed. No, I don't think it's that simple because I don't think 
you know, you have this chemist woman. She's making all these wild claims. That's true. That's you know, true. I shouldn't even say that because she is an unethical she, mad she, scientist. She's a nutcase. And uh, with no character. Okay. Well, back to Marco's opinion of her, which she's just empty. Well, that, she, that's what I mean. And you know, we have been through these getting grants and our family and uh, having to work with the government and funder agencies and there's so many things that you have to do and she's conducting an experiment that she took from the place she worked. She had no authority to do that and um, so that's unethical and then what she's doing to people, uh, she got their consent, that's true. But then what happens, and she can't reverse it. She doesn't know how because she, the whole thing is still experimental. So there's no, um, right now, there's no remedy. And I guess the only other way we're talking about this to change the story, but it would be probably more common, would be to make her some kind of Haitian voodoo woman who does all kinds of spells no. or witch. And then Let's she could do have that. done a remedy like that. But no, they made her into a... She's a scientist. Yeah, I was sort of thinking that maybe if she found out Alma was a vampire, that she would be really upset about, like, a little kid taking the pill, and maybe mm -hmm. she would try to make a remedy. But I don't, I don't really think... Because there's only two episodes left. Like, are they really going to try to turn her good in two episodes? Like, That's why I just no really thanks. worry. <laughs> so, okay, so... The, the guy, the the very first guy, he the, he changed for the worse. The because they had, to, they had to show yeah. them, of course, because that's the other side of the coin. Those are the those are the people that didn't it didn't work for them, and so we've seen what it looks like, what they act like, and so we got to see his development actually. From, it was pretty interesting, but it it's still it still doesn't explain why. Sorry about that. No, I don't think he, she knows. It's no, it's still lies. it still doesn't explain why you have all these other people who are untalented and then they they then follow his lead and buy the same coat that he's wearing and and you know all that type of stuff like why is it that that, that happened? You know, there's so many other questions that you could ask. Um, you know, why is it, you know, this has been going on for how long? 5 years, they said. So why is it that in five years she hasn't made like any progress at all? And yeah, and there's and, another thing, and yeah. you know she's a supposed chemist, scientist, whatever the fuck, but she doesn't make any progress at all. I mean, it still just seems like it, they don't know anything about this. It's like what the what the f? Like that's not realistic. Or we don't know. Maybe she has been working on it. We just don't know yet because right now we're looking at the past. But that's really a good question, and um, she, she's just, I just there's so many things wrong with what she's doing. But so, anyway, I just thought it was funny when he's almost at the end of his change, and he says to he goes to see her and he tells her what's you know because it is a scientific experiment. He tells her what's been happening, how he's <laughs> feeling, and she can tell looking at him too because he looks terrible um and he's what the way he's dressed his his lack of hair this supposedly professional chemist scientist woman who worked with the government in order to find out how someone is developing after taking this experimental drug she just asks him some hot hot fire questions some like quick questions like, how are you feeling? How is that? How is that? And then she just lets him go off and leave. It's like, you, you don't think that a, a professional like that would want to test them for hours and see what... I was expecting for Even her to, like... observe them. Yeah, I was expecting her to take him, like, prisoner. Like, to chain him up and, and experiment on him or something. Because, you know, scientists do that. They want to test you a lot. They just want to test you over and over and over again and prick you with different kinds of needles and find out stuff. Well, anyway, she, she, he says, "How? why is this happening to me? I'm a vegan. Because he's already attacked somebody in the graveyard. And, and, and I'm a pacifist. And then he tries to, and, all, and she goes, I can't do anything about it. 
you know, like she's done with them now. Goodbye. And she did. She said, well, okay, uh, there's nothing I can do. You know, goodbye. And she, he starts to attack her. And she says, don't you dare. And like, kind of weak, but still standing up to him. And he just leaves her alone. And you saw what they are like. Yeah. So I, that was confusing to me. But then he leaves. After he says, I'm a vegan. I'm a pacifist. And he goes out. And it's Halloween. And all these people are all dressed up. He fits right in. And um, there's some kid, like a teenager or 20-something, puking, or they're sick, they're drunk, in the alley. And he attacks him, rips his throat out right after he says, I just thought that was funny. And then... Um, <clears throat> That's another thing that I brought up with Safi is, why don't all these untalented people get really mad that they're like this now, and they go and all kill the, the chemist in a mob fashion. Well, like, why didn't he uh, be more aggressive in his attack on her? He, he, he could have, he probably could have gotten her. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She didn't look like she knew karate. She was a federal agent where she had learned all these martial arts and, and how to use a handgun and all this stuff. Well, maybe she did. But. She's an important character to the plot, so they would find some excuse for her to get the upper hand, you know what I mean? Well, I guess she just had, he had not made the final thing of transformation when, when he saw that guy he's in the alleyway he, nobody else is around and it's kind of, it's kind of far down in the alley, so all these other people, they're out in the street, partying having fun, and so you know, he attacks nobody knows you know, because it's really loud and everybody's laughing and having a good time So what else did you like, Safi? Well, um, I just <laughs> like, I, well, I just don't know what I'm should I shouldn't say. You can say whatever you want. If people well, watch you know, this, they've the, already seen the episode. It's been you know, 22 minutes. But Evan Peters, uh, who plays Austin, he was a drag person, and he didn't really want to do it. He was trying to just support himself and keep him starving to death, and you know, getting food and with his money and so that's why he was doing the drag queen thing but he was really a playwright that's what he said and but he wasn't being very successful and so the dragon woman or I should say Dracula woman but I don't I hate her hair but you know her name now uh, uh, Be Bell God anyway Sophie? Bell uh, you know says well here this will help you he thinks it's some kind of drug like you know what I mean like to get you high or something she, says, she said, no, it's even better. And she gives it to him. And then all of a sudden, all right, all right, as soon as he did, and he starts to puke, which I hate. You hate oral fluids. Well, I just can't stand the puke. I mean, I, I've had just... a tendency to watch something where they just constantly puke. It's not and just I puking. threw up after watching it. I, threw, I, I couldn't help it. I had it's such a terrible stomach ache. Oral fluids give you a stomach ache. So, uh, and then um, these other drag queens who, they were kind of all in a group, they were making fun of him and, and putting him down and being really mean and horrible and he was like, I don't really care what they think, but still I, you know, I don't like myself this way. This isn't me. You know, that, you know, and uh, so, this is the this is a question I had though. After you know everybody's gone home, all the drag queens went over to somebody's house, and uh, so they went there and they let him in. And she shot like I don't know two or three of them. No, she shot four people with a gun. Well, <laughs> I don't I don't get that. I do, and it, it all goes down to the big. And then uh, she killed him. And then, of course, she and then he ripped into the throat of one. Of course, I'm sure she's going to rip into the throat of another. And then they had this other two or whatever. And then another one escaped. Well, he thought he did, but he escaped to the graveyard. Well, guess who's hanging out at the graveyard? The untalented Mr. One. Untalented guy who was on stage. So, um, and he killed him. And But anyway, my question is, this this... This is not a major city. This is a smallish area. And 
they just killed, there's just five people, even though the one they got was done by the untalented guy, five people maybe have that just been murdered. A massacre. They're not going to miss them, really? The, the families aren't going to look out. for the, Yeah, I mean, really. And where are they putting the bodies? And I mean, that many yeah. at a time? Why did she do that? A lot of questions. Why did she need a gun? I don't get the gun thing. We never get she doesn't to, need that. And we never get to find out how the tattoo woman does the uh, fangs either. Yeah. You know, even though we didn't want to see that, probably, because that'd well, be really I don't gross. I want to see that. I've seen that in some other Ugh. show. It's Ugh. gross. Anyway, that is uh, Carrie Fisher's granddaughter, by the way. And I thought she was... So I thought she was really good. And I'm used to seeing her with blonde hair. I think it's shortish blonde hair or whatever. I think it... But, uh, so, but I recognized her voice. And it kind of didn't make sense, the, 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 the drag queen thing, too. Because they killed, like, four or five people. They didn't need to drink from four or five no, people. No, they didn't. That's the thing. So I you, don't understand it. To me, I thought maybe they would take the others prisoner... And they could keep them in that big house and then kill them whenever they want or something like that. And now that. they have to get rid of the bodies. That's a lot of bodies. That's not one body. I guess we're just That's not careful. We're just not supposed to think about this stuff, Safi. That's what I mean by these origin episodes. They like to have these cutesy moments without logic. They like to have like, oh, isn't that fun? But you can't. They go do back that. to the drag queen's house and they kill them all. Ha ha ha! Isn't that fun? Well, I just say you can't do that, but I'm just gonna, I'll just go with it. We'll just see what happens. But I, it wasn't bad though. It just no, I I enjoyed it. I'm just I'm just I thought I was, I was satisfied that they showed where they got the medicine and guess who, facilitated all of that. It wasn't just the chemist telling them who took them to the chemist. Mickey. Mickey! And so he played a pretty big part in the show. Yeah, I like seeing and him. And he is so pleasant yeah. in, it, in it. You don't... And he, oh, he's really disgusting. He uses sex to get what he wants, which is weird. <laughs> That's... I mean, to get anything. To there's, get food, to get anything. He uses that, sex with anybody. Sophie, there's been characters like that since film started. Uh, well, that, it just reminds me of the projects that... Uh, with the uh, drug grants uh, that I've uh, been a witness to where uh, they okay. interview the people and uh, who were trading sex for, well, it used to be when they were doing it crack. Soft. Crack, crack whores. Oh, soft. And uh, so this, what, but he wasn't, he was so like pleasant. The, that's Very pleasant and yeah. easy going and nice and. That's a big not, cliche. Not mean and just, I don't know, but anyway, I have to. We're doing laundry now, and I've got to get back inside. That's a big cliche, though, Safi. You have a prostitute character, but they're very nice, and they're actually a very good person, and they, they have they're they're a, they're a human being. Uh, yeah, but no, so that, that's I, a cliche. But the thing is, he has talent. Yeah, he does. And we, so, but which he, is cool. He's just being very he was being cautious so, which is very interesting what would you rate this episode Sophie? well i just give it? it a b because it raised some questions and i and the thing is the, the biggest question i guess well, there's two big ones number one couldn't they have chunked this up and spread it around amongst the previous episodes so we wouldn't have they didn't have to waste a whole episode on one big origin story and then the other thing is, look, if there are bit, anybody is out there listening and they live in a small town, do you think if you had five people murdered, somebody might miss them? I think so. <laughs> I've lived in a small town. I know what it's like. We just well, had uh, south of here. We had a small people, town where two families were murdered. I think no, a lot of people miss Sophie, them. People just disappear. And never. No one ever knows what happens. Not that many. Not that many at a time, and it's just, uh, it, that's another thing that disturbs me. So anyway, I've got to go put the laundry into the dryers. Uh, I okay? give I give this a B minus, Goodbye, Sophie. everybody. Goodbye. I'll let Marco finish up. Oh, okay. Uh, this is awkward, Sophie. No, that's okay. It's a, a reality. We Thanks. live in reality, right? No, we live in a, we, we live inside a dream.
remember that quote. Anyways, everybody, I give this episode a B minus. I was really teetering on the edge of giving it a C plus because I really didn't think that this was necessary. I thought that it was just kind of average ish, maybe on the higher realm of average because I did like the performances and I like some of the stories. I like the characters. I give it a B minus. Uh, I really hope that these last two episodes of Red Tide are good, though, because, you know, I really liked how the story started with the vampires and everything, and I, I would really like to see a great conclusion so that we can get some good horror television this year. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, tell us what you thought about this episode. You know, I know everyone's going to say... Yeah, you're totally wrong. This is an A+. Plus. This is an A++. Plus plus. You know, that's just... Whatever. You know, everyone has an opinion. And not everyone is going to have the same opinion. You know, even for the shows that you guys consider masterpieces, like Breaking Bad. People give Breaking Bad bad grades. <laughs> like, just, just so you know. Like, not everyone likes everything. And not everyone hates everything uh, that, that you hate, you know. Everyone has their own opinion. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I bet people love this episode. It's a typical type of origin episode that I would see, you know, everyone saying, Oh my God, that was amazing. Did you see the part where the uh, Austin was in drag? Oh my God, oh my God. And that scene was really good. I liked that scene. So I, I could see where you're going there. And also, please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more honest reviews of American Horror Story. Because, you know what? At the end of the day, you could go anywhere on YouTube and find reviews that gush over the series and say, Oh, oh, oh my God, that was amazing. But you chose to come on here where I'm honest, and Safi's honest for the most part. She's a little nicey-nice. Anyways, goodbye everybody, see you soon for episodes 5 and 6. Goodbye!